Welcome back to The Wonderful Life. We're Tim and Deanna. Today is day 10 of our 10-day Norwegian star cruise around Ireland, and we're taking some time to discuss our likes and dislikes of the star. Well, it's almost time to start packing for the trip home, so let's go. Good morning, everyone. We are on day 10 of our cruise. It is a sea day today. This is the last full day before we uh, get back to the London area. Um, we haven't done a ton this morning. We, we slept in and went to breakfast at Ocean's and um, I grabbed Starbucks just because mm -hmm. uh, we did have a little bit of a discrepancy on our, uh, on our bill today. Somewhere along the way, someone charged a $35 martini onto our bill the other night when we were at the Mojito, Mojito Bar. bar. Um, so we had that removed. And now we're just kind of sitting around. We found this really cute area up. It's above the pool deck, but it's on the aft side, kind of outside of the Mojito Bar, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. And there's yeah. like these little couches and tables, and we didn't even know this place existed. Yeah. The sun keeps poking in and out of the clouds. It gets a little chilly when it's behind a cloud, but um, overall it's warmer than we expected yeah, out here in the North Atlantic or wherever we are. Probably in the 50s right now, somewhere along the way. Mm -hmm. I see people in, in swimsuits um, and a lot of people in the hot tubs, but I also see people in winter coats and hats walking yeah, around. Yeah, it's a bit of a so contradiction. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, but um, we had to come up with a plan for how to get to the airport once. Yeah, we hadn't done the, that. Yet. The ship docks, and, and so Deanna put together a thing where we will take a bus from uh, Southampton, the same bus line that we took to Southampton. Yeah, it's uh, National Express, which <coughs> seems to be the main bus coach line in the UK. Uh, we were going to try and take a train, but it looked like it was going to be at least two or three trains on how to to get from Southampton to uh, London Heathrow. I thought it was gonna be a direct uh, train there, but there was not an option that we could find. So went back to National Express, really cheap actually. It was like 50 euros total mm -hmm. for both of us, or pounds I guess, because it's UK. Um, <laughs> in my currency confused um, for two people and that included uh, assigned seats again mm -hmm. um, I would have preferred to have a little bit of a later time just because our flight doesn't leave until after 3 p.m. but it does look like um, well that was the nine nine o'clock or 945 bus was already sold out which on us because we waited to the last minute mm -hmm. so we are going to be taking the 745 bus to the airport um, but that's okay because we can just we'll just have extra time at the airport to hang yeah. out then it's, it's i mean it's a fairly large airport so that we'll keep ourselves entertained and it's a two hour two over two hour ride so well but, yeah. we get in i think at 10 at the airport and then later today we have to start packing which it's fine this has been a really long trip so it's yeah it's not like the others where you say gosh i wish it would go on it, it's just about part of the perfect amount of time I agree. To, to hit all of the places we really wanted to see um, but we also know where we want to go back to so when yeah. we do come back to ireland um we will know exactly where we if we come back for a land trip which i assume we will um we will we know exactly where we want to go now so yeah we've met some really nice people on mm -hmm. this one as usual and um yeah some that i'm sure we'll be in touch with um, yeah. after the cruise is over um exchange some information or you know friended them on social media that sort of thing mm -hmm. definitely there's there's <coughs> i have a couple of people's phone numbers and um some from the uk some from the us it's it's been very nice mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's going to be a day to just kind of bump into people here and there. Relax, maybe have, I don't know. Typically we do a bar crawl on our last day. There's not very many bars on this ship and we have already hit all of the bars that we <laughs> wanted to hit. So it might just be random. We're not mm -hmm. sure what we're doing yet. But yeah, I got to give these people credit that are walking around in bathing suits. Cause yes. This is chilly, chilly, especially with that wind sweater, whipping. And I'm chill. I'm a little chilled, but uh -huh. not cold. But they're walking so leisurely as if it were <laughs> 90 degrees out. I know. Um, so that's impressive. 
it's kind of a, that would be a polar plunge for for me to jump into that swimming pool. I know the hot tubs maybe are, are more manageable, but yeah, I don't know. The hot tubs are there's a couple of them that are just full. <laughs> so I just yeah, the the stateroom turned out to be a yeah, a okay. nice quiet place. But we'll have to show the location of the stateroom in case you're interested. It, it was it's not. It's like you, what it missed in views. It it made up for in location because yeah. that put us right alongside the atrium, right near. Um, Oceans, and it was far enough but that the noise was completely exactly. It was buffered. a very quiet room, um, mm -hmm. and it was nice and dark when the curtains were closed, almost like an inside. But we did get a little bit of light then during the yeah. day. I, I mean, we probably could have done an inside on this this cruise, to be yeah. honest. But um, mm -hmm. in general, no, I'm very happy. We have friends that wound up. I think we've said this before in one of our other videos right below the Bliss Lounge, and it's loud. Yeah. Yeah. Like the only noise we would ever hear, we, did, we didn't hear any doors from other cabins because it's the yeah. only cabin in this little section. section. There's The only noise we got was when the tender boats were being lowered and raised so uh well, but that yeah, was a yeah. good time to, it was almost like a an yeah. alarm yeah, without an alarm right because it yeah. was time for us to get up at that time anyway because we would have to get ready for the day so mechanical <laughs> rooster yeah exactly uh, but overall yeah so far so good and we'll, we've got one whole day here yeah to go to the places we liked and avoid the places we didn't and um see the people we liked and avoid the people we didn't <laughs> So. Okay. <laughs> Overall, this has been yeah, a, no, it's a, been a, good a great bunch of people to be cruising with. A, mm -hmm. You know, a little older demographic, but um, very, uh, very pleasant. And everyone remembers Tim. Yeah, I don't know why. The staff remembers me. The people remember Tim. Especially the people at Starbucks, they remember her. <laughs> we never did get our Starbucks Ireland mug as hard as we tried. They're sold out everywhere for months. Oh yeah, we months. did find out for our, from a friend of ours who <coughs> asked some of the staff because they wanted one as well. And apparently Starbucks hasn't sent them any mugs to sell in over seven months. So, They're all, all out, all over the country. So, so we did get, you know, souvenirs and we got the mug from Paris, the mug from London. So we'll give you a little updates here and there from around the ship today Yep. as we finish this one up. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Right, Before we headed to the Garden Cafe for lunch, we made our way up to the Sky High Bar for a Bloody Mary, but we'll show you a bit of the ship along the way. Please consider subscribing to our channel. It's absolutely free and it really helps our channel grow. <laughs> he dressed up for this too. Somehow he knew he was. Yeah, you're all fancy too. You didn't wear your jeans and t-shirt today. Because of the tasting, I have to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which tasting did you do? Sailing sustain. A lot of we had an hour. 
I look like a person there. might help our channel because if we just tell people that yeah, like sure. they can see you in it mm -hmm. then they're just gonna want to relive it's like a virtual mudslide being produced on the entire ship so. my sister's in chicago too i've told you that night mm -hmm. yeah. She works in, in Chicago. Stokey, yeah. and she's a nurse. Yeah. yeah. In Chicago University. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Let's spread the word. Probably University of Chicago. Yeah. yeah. You mean Jasper or the view out there? No, not at all. Sure. You should be a stand-up comedian. No? He should be. Yeah. And work even headliners. We have headliners. Right? <laughs> he should Thank be. Thank you. Yeah. We chose Versailles for our final dinner on board with our friends from the UK and got to see the kitchen staff give a fond farewell. everyone um let's see we are wrapping up our cruise it is the end of day 10 and we did get some bus tickets i think i've already mentioned that we have to be <coughs> off the ship fairly early because our bus leaves for the airport at 7 45. we're going to attempt to walk to the bus station which is um not that far <coughs> actually because we were in there um when we got into southampton but if it's raining we'll probably just grab a taxi um, the evening went well. We met with some friends, had a nice dinner, probably the best <laughs> dinner I've had on the entire cruise. So it was nice to end on a good note. I had yeah. a flank steak in the main dining room. It was very, very good. Uh -huh. um, and we just ended it with the best guitarist on the ship, um, Angel, which was amazing. Um, Again, had a, a last minute, you know, a nightcap with friends, and mm -hmm. and now we're back in the room. Yeah, it's kind of a warm feeling when <laughs> you have people come up to you on the last day yeah. just to say goodbye and, and wish you well, and yeah, lots of hugs, some crying <coughs> a little bit. So it was it was a good trip. Um, I think that the ship could be a little bit better, honestly, with communication. <coughs> um, but in general, uh, it was a very good trip. The itinerary was amazing. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really have a whole lot to say. Um, we'll probably do another wrap up video after anyway, just to kind of compare this with other ships. But, um, in general, it was a little lacking here and there. Um, yeah. there's, a, I mean, there's some great crew members, but it just seems yeah. overall it, it's, a, it's not quite at the level of all the other ships we've been on mm -hmm. to this point point but it's an older ship and it's um goes to some you know it's not a regular routine destination kind of ship it's you know it just came from the antarctic and it's going to go around ireland and it's going to go up to norway and, yeah and, and iceland. iceland and all that so it, it yeah i guess it's, it's harder for them to get into any rhythm and by the end of the year it's supposed to be back <coughs> in dry dock again so um i do want to give a shout out to some of our awesome servers the bartenders in the spice h2o section getty and jasper you guys were both amazing i know you're both subscribed so hopefully you'll see this um angela in the gatsby lounge or bar was also very very good um and then the uh the two people working paul and 
trying to remember the other person's name and I apologize in the Starbucks um, everybody was very very nice and kind of remembered our drinks which was very pretty cool and our names too and that that always shows commitment and the fact that they're really enjoying what they're doing and um, you know knowing who their guests are that's very sweet so we've got a very early morning to disembark um, so that we can get to the bus terminal to catch our bus to the airport yes and we will definitely be doing some filming at London Heathrow because we have never been there all right so, so we will catch up in the morning at our trip home good night good night One of the easiest disembarkations that we've ever had. Uh, we're <laughs> off the ship and we are headed on the path to our bus station. We see, we'll see how this goes. We it's just, we're kind of retracing our steps from our uh, initial arrival here, so um, should be yeah, I'm like out of the should be simple. Here. Somehow we magically got everything back inside of our luggage. Um, this stuff must be very expandable to fit everything <laughs> I had to put in there, but um, we're well on our way. We'll be arriving at the uh, bus station maybe 10, 15 minutes. 20. He lied. I'll walk fast. guys, so we got through to the airport. Um, there are three different bus stops along the way. They do Terminal 5, Terminal 4, and then a central bus location for Terminal 2 and 3. Uh, made it through and now we're walking towards the terminal. It takes a long time to get yeah. oh, really to Terminal time. 2 since they started Terminal 5 and worked their way down. It is a very big airport. So a multitude of moving walkways and escalators to get to uh, Terminal 2. One of the tallest escalators I think I've ever ridden. <laughs> like it's going into the clouds here. We are through security now. Yeah. We've got a lot of time to kill. Way easier than um, we had expected, actually. It's pretty straightforward and no customs. They didn't even ask to see our passports yet. Maybe they'll do that at the gate. I don't know. But yeah, pretty pretty smooth. We just now have to kill some time. Uh, yeah, we're really early. Our flight doesn't leave until 3.20. It is only... <laughs> time is it, Tim? My phone, oh there it is, it's 10.40, so um, we have several hours to kill. We picked up, as you saw in the video, we stopped at the uh, same McDonald's uh, near our hotel in Southampton, picked up a little light breakfast, but um, it's still a little early for lunch, so maybe just a snack or something for the time um, being. Something to drink, maybe. There's a little robot going around cleaning <laughs> the floor. Yeah, it's the future here. Yeah. Star Wars-esque in a way. Yeah, so... Um, or Doctor I, Who. 
we are just going to walk around for a while and see what we see. We killed some time wandering throughout the terminal until it was time for lunch. Then we stopped at Big Smoke Tap House for lunch before settling in at the gate for our long wait to board our flight home. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Our next adventure is right around the corner and we can't wait to bring you along with us. Until then, keep living the wonderful life.